So this is some peach wood. I've already got it on the HTP board wrapped up with some metal flashing. I've come to find that I like that a little bit better. And this is amazing clear. Decided to use it since it's a little thicker and it came out great. You'll see in the end. But I ended up going with I used one, two, three, four, five five different micas and one of those had a green dye which you'll see in just a second Keeping your feelings bottled up inside head in for a collision and then now to really live you gotta die breathe in breathe out hey come 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 alive breathe in breathe out look at the color doing my pouring I don't I don't really wait for temperature um, when I do my colors I mean it's most time long into the pot life but even with the amazing clear having a 30 to 40 minute pot life meaning the time that it has before it starts curing and you see here this is what I had to end up doing is come back in with another um, black pour what I did with the first and then I just gave a little blend in right here with a uh, popsicle stick, stir stick, whatever you want to do, just to kind of give it a change up. Alright, we got out of the mold, there's a worm screw in here I've got to find first, but the coloring, eh, it was shot in the dark, sometimes I like playing with different colors just to see, um, it's nice colors though, but I mean, you really never know till you get inside of one on how it looks. So, and that's the back side of it. It didn't get all the way to the top. But that's fine. I've got to make a flat spot on the back side of here. And I'm going to glue up this tenon. Um, this was left over from the wild cherry one that was kind of purple. Just to show you how good that star bond holds on, you can see that it wasn't fully covering the bottom side. So, it's good stuff. Now we're gonna chuck this up real quick, turn this back flat, get some of this old stuff off. Then we'll chuck this one up, get the bottom flattened on it, get it rounded up a little bit in the worm screw, and then we're gonna glue this on.
thanks to Tiny Maker for this idea. Um, said to use candle wax on the screws so they wouldn't get stuck, make them easier to get in and out. And that that I had was some buffing compound that I'd made, and I still use it from time to time. Um, just when I feel like it, I mean, it's not something I use a whole lot of. And it works great on my stainless steel pots and pans too, because as I was cleaning the pot after making it, it polished like a champ. shout out to Rich for this idea he said to use a wood plug kit to get out broken screws which I do have a wood plug kit that I use for the carbon fiber epoxy hollow form that I did you ever get lost in your shop trying to figure out what to do that was then Yeah, right now I'm using my big Carter & Sons 3 quarter inch bowl gouge. Um, when doing epoxy, it's hard to really remove a lot of material at one time without it, what I call, detonating. Because when it shatters, it sends tons and tons of shards everywhere and make you bleed a lot of the times. And sometimes, you know, that bowl gouge, it ain't too bad doing that. Just hog out a bunch of material faster than you can with the carbide.
this is just gorgeous. I mean, it is really that color. I almost just want to leave it like this, like a matte finish. Good God Almighty. Time to song vibrate. <laughs> Whew. <clears throat> anyway, look at this. Mm. It's going to be a shame when I run out of this peach wood. This stuff is beautiful. All right, let this dry for a day or two, get a full cure on it and get out the bill buffing system and buff away on it.